the point where I go sit at my vacant house with my gun, hoping that one meth head will break in while I'm sitting there. <laughs> now, I'm just telling you, they've responded, they'll tell you, although the crimes that happened at my properties were not on that list, just for the record. Not in October. Doubtful if they'll make the list for November. But I want to know who I got to talk to, who, who do I need to send a Christmas card to, who needs a gift card, what do I got to do to get this handled? Because I work. I work. I, I need to be able to leave my property and know that I'll come back with all my property still at my property. <coughs> And I'm just going to keep coming till the problem gets solved. I'm not going to go away. I'm your new nightmare. Yeah, I, do you want to address that now, or do you want to set up the time? And it, it is being addressed because we have talked several times. Now it's not going to be. Uh, uh, I'm not going to get into specific police tactics or how it's being addressed or what's being addressed. You have to understand there is different levels of drug situations um you've got uh low level users uh, you do have dealers and then you have kind of like uh, uh larger larger market dealers um so you know for for your street level users you know that's that's certain things that can be done that's the type of thing where you're going to uh, uh look at foot traffic in look at foot traffic out and then you kind of work up the scale from there it's not going to be an overnight thing it didn't get this way overnight, nothing in this township did. It takes work, it takes uh, evidence, it takes evidence again, it takes some more evidence. And then maybe if you're lucky, you can get a search warrant to um, push further on some of these addresses. If it was a simple thing, we have it all cleaned up already. But, uh, you know, we're an enforcement arm of things. There are requirements that have to be met to establish uh, uh, certain uh, uh, procedures in the law. We have to meet those before we get the cooperation of judges and prosecutors. Um, and we work within the resources that we have, but uh, uh, we've talked. Now, obviously, there's a couple more addresses since we last talked on this street. My first suggestion would be to call Crime Stoppers and leave an anonymous tip. I, I, oh, I, I leave tips with my with, name and phone number. Well, that's fine, too. Yeah. But I see every tip that comes in through Crime Stoppers. Yeah. Okay. I, I leave it. Um, so my, my first thing would be to take that information <laughs> and get it on that radar so that we can, uh, we, we, it opens up uh, basically a time clock on it. Um, I can see the complaint myself. I can work uh, depending on what level of complaint it is, either with patrol or one of the task forces if it's a larger scale type of thing. Um, and then, you know, a detective will get assigned to that. But the detective is going to do the detective thing. And we can't sit here and talk about what the detective thing is, or everybody knows what the detective thing is, and then nothing works. So, um, Well, nothing's working. So, well, I mean, I won't share any secrets, and I don't need you to tell me what will happen. But I know that I'm a citizen that's offering my house, and it's vacant, and they know so, it's vacant. For 1591 so, Altrin, for instance, I drive down that street, Every, every week, either in the morning or the afternoon. We've had certain things we wanted to do at that address. The minute I step out of the car and put my boot on the asphalt, I'm being followed around. Hey, what's going on? Okay? Nobody's going to fall for a tinted out car sitting in a driveway across the street. Everybody knows what that is. Everybody in this room will drive by, see that, we know what that is. We watch TV, we watch Discovery. So we have guys that are part of the range task force, girls too. They, they go through certain training and things for this. So when, when I get a complaint of that level, that's who I turn to, to to look into these things. And I trust the tactics and the training that they receive to, to look into these narcotics investigations. They've been very successful in this case. Um, and, and you know they keep me apprised of uh, where we're at, what we're doing, and so on and so forth. And, and, and that's... Like that's how I'm going to approach that. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the people that are experts in that field. <laughs> I was never a road cop. Uh, I, I know it's a problem. I know it's a problem in a lot of places in this county. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put the resources that we have available. We'll do the very best that we can. But we have a lot of complaints. We have a lot of drugs. We're coming out of one of the uh, 
worst epidemics with opioids that we have seen in this nation. And you know, we're starting to get a grasp on it. Our ODs are way down compared to where they were two or three years ago. So you know, these things take time. And we will continue to work it. We will continue to address the complaints as we get them, and we'll do the very best that we can. I want to, I want to add to Captain Flagg's comments. Does everybody understand that the township can only afford two units 24 hours a day? Okay. Why? There's been a lot of criticism of the policing out here, but two cruisers covering, covering 44 miles of road, 27 square miles. It's ridiculous. You can't be everywhere all at once, and you can't sit on a property all day with everything that's going on out here. So if you're not happy with the policing out here, then be prepared for a tax levy to take care of another million dollars worth of taxes because the ad staff, it's a million dollars for every two people you want 24 hours well, a day. So I don't think the community is ready to stomach that kind of expense. Have you asked? We can community? try it. Yeah. I mean, because re replacing all my stuff is costing me money. <clears throat> So I'd rather help pay for more officers. So I don't know what community you're asking, but I live and in this community. Well, mm -hmm. that, that, we need to update you. That's when my boot hits the ground. Hmm? That's when my boot hits the ground. Yep. So I'm not going to do the, pull that off while I'm being surveilled. Yeah. I'm going to tell you all, I came to this township in 1998. Okay. I've been a part of the patrol for the majority of that time out here. All right. When I started as a brand new rookie in Jefferson Township, we were good for a stabbing or a shooting most every night of the week. Okay, we are a far cry from where we were in 1998. Okay, this is uh, actually one of the safer communities in the county. So um, we do get some shootings, we do get some stabbings, but it is nothing, nothing like it was when I first came out here. So you know, everything takes time. We will work to improve this community. We will do everything we can to be a part of the solution, but it, it takes work and it takes effort. I um, I, I do want to say um, there the drug uh, activity on Altrum was a lot worse than what it is now. It, they're still selling, but it's not as bad as it was because they know that the police presence is out there, and um, so it's kind of tampered down a bit, not a lot. Right, Marion? Yep. So, but but it has tempered down a bit. It, but it took well over a year for this to, to kind of start to look a little bit different. So I just wanted to uh, offer that to you. But uh, see, that it, it, it takes that. But hopefully you're having some of your, your neighbors also call and report uh, the drug activity too. Because it's quite a few of them on that street that are calling. Um, I'm, I'm glad that she brought up a nice point. I wish that gentleman was here who was trying to, in my opinion, change you know, people's mind about uh, we don't need more junkyards or this and that. I just want to tell you that house that we are talking about, I'm pretty sure the gentleman is behind that desk, they, they know that's a dope house. And uh, by kicking them out from there, and uh, putting the fence around it. And two other uh, vacant lots, which you guys don't receive, not no money for that right now. Um, at the moment, that uh, I have a total of 14 parcels in my property, and I'm paying about $21,000 taxes, annual tax. So when we add, yeah, that's a business. So, um, and of course, I assume it's different than residential, right, the taxes. So, by adding those two lands behind it, which is again about two times of just this room. We're not talking about expending it to the fire department down there, you know. Uh, and the only reason is just to make it a square with the uh, defense and just make it safe. That's all. And receiving more taxes and money for the community as well. You know, when it's, when it's added, that, that's how I'm looking at it. Thank you. Um, I, I just 
Can I make a comment? Um, I, I noticed that um, during both the work session and the regular meeting that we talked over and over again about the bills not being paid. And I would hope that um, uh, we should we would focus on getting those bills paid at our next meeting so that we can kind of like close out that chapter <coughs> and we get a new chapter next year. Uh, because us not paying a bill, our bill, is a bad look on the township. We already have a bad look. Um, and, you know, we have people that don't trust us and don't want to do business with us for various reasons. Um, so I just hope that uh, we would look at getting those bills paid for um, in a timely manner because I will want my money. And just like we were trying to get, um, uh, there's one at the fire department, uh, uh, they want their money, and I'm sure everybody else that has performed the service should get their money as well. So I think we need to really focus on paying our bills. That's the simplest thing that we can do is just get our bills paid. So that's all I got. Anybody else want to speak? I had, Mary, Mary had jumped in there when I was, just as I was getting done. But um, I didn't get an answer from either of you. Um, are we, I mean, like I said, you guys gave us and Betty the idea that you were going to open our offices, the office here back up. Has anything been done to do that? Or what are we looking at doing that? Well, the position has been unfilled. There was discussion over uh, splitting uh, former Ms. Jones' job, who's up front, into two positions. There needs to be a job description established, and then we can post, post the job. There's some debate amongst the trustees because the fiscal officer wants an assistant. Uh, so that issue has to be cleared with the board, but it never got past job description. We did approve uh, an administrative position within FIRE. However, um, as far as I know, the job hasn't been posted and we haven't done any interviewing but that still doesn't take care of the problem. McLaughlin in the work session, uh, work, you walk everybody through what you wanted to do. I was here for the work session. I heard it. The phone. I heard it. Oh, I was here oh, for the work oh, session. Just the last question. Yes. Um, <clears throat> we need to do install, so we had complaints from our neighbors. Uh, the Ohio State Extension Office and the Ag Board and that people come in there, they don't know how to get a hold of the bus, they bang on their door, bang on their window, bang, 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 and um, come to us complain, do something about it. So I reached out to people to take care of our phone service here, and I uh, got a price on putting a internal phone. You cannot dial out, but put a phone on the wall out there. Those two people have phones. We need a phone, and talking to the guy that does that for Emory Services, because I mean, if you pick that up, whatever number you have there, four-digit number for whoever you want to talk to, you can dial that phone in here. It'll also dial another number at the same time. So you can dial that, dial my cell phone that I answer. And uh, but it, it sounds like a real good way to be able to respond to and answer to residents that come to this township. And also, we need to put somebody that at, at the window, have, have four hour, like a four-hour window, five days a week that we're open and um, put somebody at the back of that window like Adrian was years ago, and put somebody there to respond to the residents of this township. I have one question. Is Can you make sure? Yes, yeah, okay. uh, If somebody the person who did it the last time, you could barely, barely, barely hear. Well, we need to fix that with a new phone system. We'll get all that take care of. Thank you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is, is there some kind of obvious miscommunication going on as far as the key to the door to where the fair board of the township just has the money to just open the door when it's 20 degrees outside and just let all the heat out? Oh, shit. 
Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I agree with you with that. I, 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 I've addressed I that issue before. Yeah. I, I've addressed, I've addressed <laughs> that issue before, and that will be taken care of. I mean, that's like, like yes. a real simple issue. But yeah. That, that's obviously costing a lot of money. Uh, I mean, I I you know, it before, it was sitting wide open. Like, I just left well, it. We also were bound by the law. The doors have to be open. Well, the, the, the door needs to be unlocked. And they it's don't have to have it open, wide open. <clears throat> There again, that kind of boils down to getting along with your neighbors. The same problem we have with the city of Dayton, the same problem we have with the 11, the same problem we have with other local areas out here, us getting around with our neighbors, us getting along with our neighbors in this building. That's one of the reasons that we have this issue. Yeah, see, there's a misconception that, you know, it's just a, a few dollars, but, but it, it, you know, all that adds up over eight years. You know, I mean, I mean you did, you're all kinds of ways. Would you do that to your own home? No, Most definitely not. No, I wouldn't either. I mean, that's that. That's just pointing out the obvious. But I, I yes. just wanted to note that I'm sure there's nobody else out here in the township, any business or any homeowner that just leaves their door wide open for three or four hours when it's 20 degrees outside. Well, if we we go back to the people at Manch Building and tell them, hey, we fixed our phone. We want to work with you. We want to get things turned around. We get that problem solved. There's a reason why I said that. All right, let's move on to trustee reports. Thank you so much. Thanks for uh, be receiving me. I hope to um, give you another four years. And my response here is not going to be whether you got, you got me for four years, whether you like it or not. I don't, I'm not going to say that. It's been said by previous people. Uh, mine is, I'm going to be here four years. I'm going to work with you. If you call me, I'll answer. I work with you to make it better, make this town better. You got me, I hope you like it. If not, you got me whether you like it or not. Okay, so um, I stopped by the road garage, as mentioned um, last week, to meet up with the guys, I had a good good meeting with them, um, to see what they need, what we need to do here for next year, uh, what their wants are, uh, what we need to do to make our road patches better and start performing some more work internally. Um, I did participate in the truck and treat um, back in, in Halloween. That was a good time. That movie time at that event. Um, okay, uh, I worked on policy to get our bills paid. Although it didn't pass tonight, I can't get a second on it. But um, so it's been going on for months. Every month we hear, I see emails from the fiscal officer. I need this. I need that to pay bills, and it's not happening. So I call around to different townships. That's common sense. You don't need a policy to do that. You just do it. Okay, well, we need a policy because it's not being done. So I try to write, I spent time and worked on a policy. Uh, I'm not sure who wrote it, but I did, was involved in it. And um, we need something like that. If it, if it, if it, you know, at home, I pay my bills. I don't have a policy to write, pay my bills at home, but I, they get paid. Home, and um, so we need to do that here. And it is, it is. I mean, we've had trash service cut off. Uh, computer people are, are, are mad at us. We had been there at uh, uh, auto parts supply house. People after people after people, company after company, don't want to deal with us because we don't pay off the bills. We got the money in the bank. Let's get the money processed and get all the bills paid. So I spent time working on a PO to get that done. Um, been driving around the township looking at catch basins and road repairs that we need to kind of line up for next year. Um, took uh, complaints on uh, Dayton Liberty. I know you were talking about that. You probably know where I'm talking about. A couple houses north of uh, Hempel. Been there new, the, the sheriff's department's been there numerous times, but uh, I get complaints about that being a drug house. Uh, Faust. Which road? Uh, the Dayton Liberty? Germantown Liberty? Germantown Liberty, yes. Indeed. Huh? Indeed. Yeah. So, um, I, it, it, it's back to going past that and investigating, looking at it, putting a complaint with uh, Captain Flagg. I saw some other things. I know the guy does for business, and I've seen some violations on the other side of the street, so to speak. But yeah, on the other side of the street. And um, we'll be digging into that. So we'll see what we can do there. Um, He's been in trouble with that before, so we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. Um, anyway, um, 
uh, we talked about that Emory, I spent time on that Emory, the, the, the uh, phone, the phone service taken care of. I try to do something every month to this township. Uh, physically do something, I do work two jobs, two part-time jobs. My wife will tell you I have a farm. She does most of the farm stuff. I do make hay. I'm a very busy man, but I do physically do things for this township. And to me, these township trustee reports that we make and comments uh, at the end of the report is for us to tell you what we are physically doing for you when you pay your tax dollars to make my paycheck. And that's what I try to do in my report, not just what happened when somebody else did or whatever. I try to tell you there are the things that I have physically done for this township. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of you have already heard I've spent a lot of time securing the financing and getting my own paperwork brought together to get that thing bought once and forever. Uh, you're talking a $600,000 transaction. So there's a lot of stuff involved for getting that done. Um, the community needs to know there is nobody out patrolling code enforcement. We have a zoning officer who has been taking some some phone complaints, but we don't have anybody dedicated to driving around writing stuff up. So this is something that the zoning officer is handling as he has time, but he's not putting the justice to it the way the community asks for it. This has been a struggle for the township to fund that position, uh, and I don't expect to see that employee back for several months due to some health issues. So. That is a challenge for the new administration to look at. Road department. The only project scheduled for 2022 is contingent upon ODOT grant funding, and that will be a repair to uh, infirmary and a part of Pinnacle. If you were going to do road work, it needed to happen in the fall and get it scheduled. So the window of opportunity to get anything major done is probably passed for 2022. The township doesn't have any road repair equipment. We get a lot of complaints on the conditions of the roads, but if you look at the staffing models of roads, after they mow the nuisance properties, cemeteries, and take care of our buildings, that takes about three and a half days a week. Usually the road department's going to get a surprise like storm cleanup, maintenance repairs, something like that that consumes some of their time. So right now, the way the road department's staffed, you got one and a half days to do any road repairs. That's not going to get through all the miles of roads. And the only way to get anything going in-house is you're going to have to double the staff, buy equipment, train and, and the cost of those employees that know how to do road repairs creates a whole new challenge for the road department. Because of the fighting within the administration, we got we, we went and cleaned up uh, illegal dumping, and our guys got turned away. And then I get a call, call from the administrator saying, "What are the guys going to do with with the material that they've picked up?" So we were cut off over a hundred or two hundred twenty-two dollar bill with with the county. Administrator needs brakes on his blazer, he's metal on metal. I approved going to buy $100 worth of brake pads so he can take care of that. We're cut off at O'Reilly's. None of the staff has credit cards, and the road department doesn't even have an account with a rental yard or places that you can buy road, rep road repair material. We can't go buy culvert pipe. Okay. 
Um, on top of all that, and you can point the flint blame wherever you want, but our road department, we've got one resignation today. There's two more expected. There's a mass exit within staff, so I'm not sure we can guarantee the operational readiness if we get clobbered with, with a snowstorm. Now, to give everybody a lesson here, a couple of road superintendents back, he got a small amount from the township administrator to do crack seal and maybe fixed a quarter mile of road that I was aware of since I've been trustee. The next road superintendent, he didn't fix any roads and it was outsourced. Okay. Then Mr. McLaughlin took over the road department. So we'll get call-outs from the sheriffs to go pick up sticks in the road. The administrator contacts the road super. We find out that person is on vacation because, and we weren't aware of it because somebody didn't tell the administrator and nobody filled out a vacation request. So you have this blunder. Then the township got into a situation where the administrators and the other trustees had no operational control over roads. The trustee locked everybody out of the road department. And so our administrator, who his job is to coordinate call out requests from the sheriff, he can't manage that staff. So the golf one was voted off the road department. What does this have to do with your report? You talk about not throwing stones at each other, and what the hell are you doing right now? Really? Really? Everybody under the bus except for your fat self. Really? Like you're so great. Really? Okay, well, we're two two years behind on meeting. You do a public records request, there's no meeting this. So fire the administrator. Yeah, thanks, really? to exactly. yeah, that's a trustee problem. Fire. Thanks, fire. thanks for the last fire. fire. Motion yeah. adjourned. Thank you. Get rid of the people that you're, aren't doing their job. You're the right. president in charge. I say you're rid of the president. Let's go. 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 Let's go.